So now we're going to talk about curving text around an object in Cricut Design Space. There is no feature that will automatically curve your text for you, but you can do it in Design Space if you don't want to go to another program to do it. I know there are a lot of easier ways to do it, but sometimes I'm really just too lazy to open another window. Um, so I just chose something simple from the Cricut Design Space images, and I'm going to show you how I got this text to curve around the image. So to start with, we're just going to delete the whole thing and start from scratch. So I did just Google, um, not Google, but search a sun on Cricut Design Space and insert that image. All right, I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. And what I kind of try to do is to line up this X with one of those inch lines right here. So kind of just try to get it right there in the center so you have an idea of where the center is. And then I'm going to insert a circle. This circle is going to use my is going to be my guideline. So we're going to teach you a little bit here. This arrange button helps you to decide where you want these objects to be. So right now the circle is in front of the sun. I want it in the back. So I'm going to move it backwards. And then I'm going to make this circle a little bit bigger. I move the sun out of the way. And so now I have to line it up again. All right, that looks like a good spot. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with this X on the circle. Try to line it up where I want it. But I'm gonna to have to make it a lot smaller because I really want it to kind of contour my sun. Really be shaped right around it. And that looks like a good spot. All of the edges of the sun are inside the circle and that'll be good for now. So now I'm gonna start my text. Hello, and sunshine. If you see, I did that in two separate um, text box, so I don't have to separate them later. Um, I chose Don Juan, it's a Cricut Design Space font. You can do this with whatever font. The reason that I chose this one um, was because they're all the same height in this font, so it's a little bit easier for learning, but you can do this with fonts that are different heights, with capitals and lower cases, and even Ys, and um, letters that kind of hang down below the bottom of the line. So what I'm gonna do, uh, this is a little bit big, I'm gonna make them a little smaller. All right, and I'm gonna take this, hello, and the same thing, I'm gonna try to take that X and line it up right with that four line where I kind of lined everything else. Now that you've done that, you want to ungroup. Sometimes it doesn't ungroup the first time and you have to click it again. All right, now you know it's ungrouped because each letter is its own entity. So we're going to just start forming these letters around the circle that I've already placed there. So pull it down. So right now I'm just pulling them down and obviously this doesn't look like what it looked like before. And we're going to fix that in just a minute. But right now I just want to get their placement. And then I'm going to click the letter and there's this little circular arrow here. That is a rotate arrow. So now I can take these letters and rotate them in the direction that I want to kind of really make sure that they're hugging the edge of that circle. And you might have to go back and tweak this a few times. You might have to take a step back and look at it and see and then decide if it's where you want it to be. All right, so that kind of looks like those letters are hugging right along the edge of that circle. So now I'm gonna take the sunshine and move it over. Same thing, I wanna kind of, it's hard to see where that X is, but I wanna kind of line it up right on that four line where everything else was aligned. And we're gonna ungroup, still grouped. Hit that ungroup button again. All right, so same thing. That S is touching, looks to be right where it needs to be. Let's move the rest of these letters up to where they need to go. All right. And then you're gonna do the same thing. Once you've got all the letters in place, and they don't have to be perfect because you're gonna tweak this, remember, but just so you have an idea of where they go, you're going to start to rotate them. So that they are really there. So it really looks like they're curved around your object. All righty. And 
just a couple more. I'm not going to try to make this totally perfect as I would if I was doing this on my own because I don't want you guys to have to sit around while I tweak back and forth um, until it's absolutely perfect, but let's try to get it so you can get a good idea of what it looks like. So now that really kind of looks nice and curved for me. So what I want to do is I want to grab this circle, pull it out of there, and get rid of it. And as you can see, the letters look like they're really curved around the sun. Um, what you can do here is now group it. If you feel like your line is not totally straight, this one is not that bad, but the O looks a little bit higher than the H, you can now just rotate that a little bit. And now that it's grouped, I can pull it all the way down so it's really up against the sun there. And I'm going to do the same thing here. Oh, see, my letters are a little bit too close to the sun here. So if that happens, and you can't group it like that, I can, but if that happens, there's a little trick. You can click each one, hold down your shift key, click each letter separately. Remember, I'm holding down the shift key and I'm left clicking, and then you're going to group them like that. And the same thing, that E looks a lot higher than the S does, so I'm going to rotate that so that they look even. Maybe shift it over a little bit and up until I'm satisfied with how it looks. And that kind of looks like it's really curved right around there, so I'm satisfied with that and I can save it. And there you have curving your text around an object. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and good luck with your projects.